Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you uh, a few beginner tips on getting your medicine cabinet filled with uh, cleaner and more natural options. To start this video, I do want to say, this is not medical advice. I am not an expert. These are just a few tips that I have kind of learned as a beginner um, that have kind of helped me decide uh, what types of medicines and supplements I want to use in my home. So tip number one is to look at herbal options. And by herbal options, I mean herbal tinctures, syrups, um, sprays, those types of things. Now, my favorite company that I have found for this is Organic Olivia. Of course, I will have everything linked in the description for you, but I, yeah, I love Organic Olivia. Things on the website are very simple, they are explained well, and you can see where things are sourced from, what exactly is in every one of the products, and I have had great success using them. So um, here I just grabbed a couple things. I do have several of her products, um, and again, we've used them, I love them. Here, I just happened to grab Immune Shroom, and this is year-round immune support. So these, it's basically mushrooms that have been kind of ground up um, and put into little capsules, and you can take those daily or when you need them. Again, not medical advice. Um, and then I also did grab the Microbiome Guard. I used this along with her what is it called now? It used to be called Herbal Tussin. Now it's called like Chest Comfort Syrup or something like that. Um, I used those two together, the, the Chest Syrup and this um, with this last little funk that I had um, and they happen to work really great for me. Um, so yeah, the Microbiome Guard is an herbal tincture for uh, respiratory health. So we love that one. And then of course, another option, I kind of put this under herbal because it's kind of herbal, but kind of not. Really, these could fall in any category and that's just essential oils. I did not grab ours. Um, yeah, I didn't grab any this time, um, but we do use Revive. That's the brand that I get uh, and I love them. Uh, there's a multitude of reasons why I like Revive oils, um, but that is what I use and I use oils for a plethora of things um, and it's just a good option to have uh, because you can use them for a plethora of things. All right and tip number two is to look for homeopathic options. So for us, I am quite sure you guys have seen and or have heard of this. Do not ask me how to pronounce it. I have looked up the pronunciation a handful of times and I never get it right and I never remember it. But uh, this company, Bow Iron, I assume that is how you pronounce that. It's what it looks like to me. Um, they So they have this, but they also have like a ton of other things. And I did not know that um, until I actually went on their website because I am trying to kind of build up our supply and our stock. I'm trying to get rid of some old medications and re-up on some new ones. And so I was, I went to their website and they actually have a ton of stuff. So another thing I just grabbed, um, I have several other things. Um, from them, but they have this cold and mucus relief. Um, there is this, which is like a sinus, sinus relief. They've got everything. But what's really cool too is in, instead of getting like these mixtures for, you know, these specific things, you can also get each individual, I don't even know what you call them, but like 
the the individual ingredients so like this is just like that is the ingredient um same with this one like this is the actual medication that you're taking whereas like this it has three three different ones that you you know you take together and and that's they kind of work together so you, what I'm getting at is you can kind of build your own. You could get those individual medicines if you wanted to. And um, I'm sure there's some kind of book or pamphlet or something that you could get to kind of know what goes where. But for me, this works really great. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to learn it. I don't have to try and remember what is for what things. It's just kind of all put together for me. And I know that, you know, I'm taking this for these uh, issues or, or whatever here. So I really appreciate those. And then also for, uh, so I will use that for uh, myself or my husband. I have not given my daughter any of those, although there are some that you can. Um, I just haven't. And really mainly because I haven't really needed to, to this point. Um, but for her, I do like Highlands. Um, it is homeopathic as well. This just happens to be the cold and cough, but I, um, I like them and it works really good for most everything. And to, to kind of go along with that, I actually, uh, found this with this last little, thing that we had going on. The Highlands was working um, at keeping kind of the symptoms minimized, but I really needed something a little bit stronger um, to really get out whatever this bug was that, that we were dealing with. And that's when I found Genexa. And the thing that I love with Genexa, which is my tip number three, is that there's no artificial flavors, there's no artificial dyes, um, and none of that kind of stuff. It is literally, it says real medicine made clean, but it also, these are your ingredients. So you have your um, two different medicines for this particular, you know, this particular one. They do have other ones. They've got like a pain reliever and a sleep and, and a couple different options. Um, but yeah, you've got your two medicines and then it has a little bit of water, a little bit of citrus extract, and then it is flavored with organic blueberries. I mean, that's pretty good to me. Um, so yeah, this is a brand I did not know about until just a, a couple of weeks ago and it worked really well for us. And again, I like the idea that there's nothing in it but two different kinds of medicines and some blueberries. And tip number four is to try and find natural um, and or food-based ingredients. So a really, really great example of that is another brand that I recently found and that is Maddie's Organics, or I'm sorry, Maddie's Organic. This is uh, the children's cough syrup. We do also have the, um, like the, the, she's got a nighttime syrup, children's good night cough syrup or something like that. And again, here are your ingredients. Honey, sea salt, lemon, uh, cinnamon. I can't read them all backwards here. Apple cider vinegar. It's like, you could make this at home if you wanted to. Um, yeah, and again, I just really love that. Um, I, I love that there are no other ingredients. There's nothing artificial, there's no dyes, there's none of that kind of stuff in here. Um, and it's put together very thoughtfully um, as far as what the actual ingredients are. It all makes sense when you're thinking of trying to boost your Im immune system and you're trying to suppress a cough, it would make sense that you would use honey and apple cider vinegar, um, clove, there's some zinc in here. So yeah, that's another another thing that I try and look for is 
are they natural and food-based ingredients? And those are my tips. Uh, you know, if you're if you're out looking for things or if you're online shopping for things, those are just kind of some very basic things that I will look for um, when trying to decide if something is going to work for my family. So that is it for today's Tuesday Tips video. I hope this helps you guys. Uh, if there are any of these that you guys use, I would I would be interested to know that. I would kind of like to know if I'm the only one or if you guys have used any of these and if you like any of them. Uh, or maybe if you have other options that you uh, and your family like, please share them. I am always open. Uh, sometimes for some things, one thing will work. Uh, and then other times you really kind of need something else. So I am totally open to having more than just one option in uh, our kind of in our back pocket here. So uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you soon.